हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस इन टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई वी टेलिंग यू द सॉफ्टवेयर दैट आर इन ट्रेंड इन द रिसेंट टाइम and that are very useful for mechanical engineers and all the mechanical engineers should know these softwares and i would be telling you in the hierarchy order that means the most preferable is given the number 1 so for cad or the computer aided design that is for designing modeling and making assembly these softwares that are catia creo solidworks and autocad these are the softwares that are widely used in industry in the recent time and you should prefer catia and catia can perform all those tasks that these three can perform individually but the catia it is more complex and catia stands for computer application for three dimensional interactive application so this is widely used and in any industry especially, uh, especially for sheet metal designing and exterior surface designing for example for in automobile industries for outer modeling of that sheet metal of the car body etc it is widely used catia and second for my preference it is creo now creo it is somewhat simpler than catia but it has less features and the most simple of all is solid works in solid works we can perform simulation we can perform analysis we can find out the stress strain deformation we can make assemblies etc everything can be done in solid works but for designing modeling and making assembly this is the simplest of all solid works so if you are a beginner and you want to learn these software so you should start from below first you should learn autocad then you should learn solid works then you should learn creo and if you are master in these three then you should go for catia all right now moving on to the meshing and analyzing now meshing is that means if we have a body and we have to apply and we have to see the stress strain deformation so what we do we discretize it in small elements very finite elements that is said to be finite element method and this dividing this complete geometry into very small shapes either triangular or hexagonal or rectangular any shape can be that of the mesh element individual it is known as mesh element and this process it is known as meshing dividing an entire geometry into smaller fragments is known as meshing then we apply the forces and then we find the results so that is analyzing so for meshing and analyzing purpose we use we go for hyper mesh and ansys now ansys it is good and it is somewhat typical this is typical software ansys it is but it can render and it can mesh and it can analyze very typical geometries and hyper mesh it is basically used to create this meshing it is used to refine this meshing then what we do we use this ansys software for analyzing purpose so for meshing my suggestion is that you use hyper mesh and for analyzing you use ansys now ansys it comes into two variants one is the apdl that is ansys parametric design language and other is ansys workbench now this is widely used and i prefer this i use ansys apdl it has some what typical interface apdl but it can perform and it can analyze very hard geometries very typical geometries and workbench it is somewhat simpler but it has uh, some what limitations so again i am repeating for meshing you go for hyper mesh and for analyzing you go for ansys and that to mechanical apdl all right now moving on further now comes the cfd that is the computational fluid dynamics for this the best software in the recent time 
currently it is ANSYS Fluent. Alright, we have to use this software. This is widely used in industries as well. And all those softwares that I am telling you that are important and I have particularly used all and this is the current that are being used in the industries. So no need to learn any other software that are not listed here because that are not used in the industries. So no purpose will be solved for you. So you have to learn these softwares only that are used in industries because ultimately you have to go in the industry. So you need to learn these softwares only. Now CAM that is computer aided manufacturing softwares. First comes the Siemens NX and other is Tebis. Now Siemens NX is more more preferable and uh, Siemens is the company that produces this software. The software is known as NX or Nextran and uh, so you go for this one if not available and this is somewhat typical software and this is easy but this can do much this has many facilities and Tebis has some limitations now going for CAE softwares that is computer aided engineering computer aided engineering softwares are those which incorporate both the functions that is CAD plus CAM CAD plus CAM is equal to CAE alright so these softwares they can do both the work of CAD and CAM the number one software for my preference it is Abacus widely used in industry second comes the ANSA third comes the Siemens NX or Nestran now PLM soft softwares now PLM softwares they are generally used by managers in the mechanical industry and uh, at design level this much is sufficient but I am telling you this PLM software or the product life cycle management software the number one currently it is team center widely used in the industries worldwide it is the most popular software among all these team center second comes the Siemens NX alright now rendering software now rendering what is rendering suppose you create created a model or a solid object or any assembly now you want to visualize by applying different texture different material different lighting different shades different colors so that is rendering rendering is the process of application of all various parameters like color light temperature uh, materials surface texture etc to these objects and you can visualize so i personally use both these keyshot and autodesk maya and keyshot you won't find popular but the thing that this uh, this software that can do none of these uh, this is actually easier also this is very easy to learn and it can process and it can render very fast as compared to these three and blender this is the most effective software among these four but it is the most difficult to learn also and Autodesk Maya it comes in between it is uh, somewhat intermediate you can say all the softwares can do the same thing but Keyshot it is somewhat faster it is easier to learn Blender it is slower it is difficult to learn but it has more flexibility and more capabilities Autodesk Maya it has uh, both advantage and disadvantage of Keyshot and Blender so and uh, SketchUp this is also a new software that is popular in recent times but uh, I prefer Keyshot then you should go for Autodesk Maya and if you want to learn rendering software you should try to learn only one either of these three or these four then they can work and you should give preference to Keyshot because I have personally used and Keyshot it can render very fast at low processor speed also this software is very effective so I have told you all the softwares I hope you have found the video helpful if you have found the video helpful please press the like button please subscribe my channel and please share this video do check the description once for all, all of my other video links and social media links 
टिल नेक्स्ट टाइम टेक केयर एंड बाय